Hi all, Michael Teal with Presentation Plus Ups. In this video, I'm going to show you how multiple presenters located anywhere in the world can control one single PowerPoint deck. I know you're gonna love this, so let's get started. Let me see if this is familiar with you. Your team has a virtual presentation for a big client, everyone's remote, and you're screen sharing in WebEx, Zoom, or Teams, and you'd like multiple presenters who own various sections of one presentation to flow seamlessly together without having to constantly say, Next slide, please. Hey, I get it. In fact, the pain of enduring one of those presentations drove me to look for a solution, and I found a savior, and its name is internetclicker.com here's the deal go to internetclicker.com and read all about it but hear me now and believe me later that after nine months of usage this is the real deal you pay a modest monthly fee to obtain a license key you download and install their powerpoint plugin you share your personally created clicker code and it just works. Now, I will say if you have a corporate computer, you will need to have your friends in IT install the PowerPoint plugin for you. But hey, I'm not a magic man. Okay, here's the nitty gritty. Once the plugin is installed, open PowerPoint and look for the internet clicker panel on your upper ribbon. Hit the connect icon and input your key. That's the set of numbers you get once you've bought your license. Then set a code you wish to share with your fellow presenters. It can be anything you want, just write it down and remember it. Once you enter slideshow mode in your PowerPoint, your internet clicker is alive and connected to the World Wide Web. Okay, it's time to share that internet clicker code with your remote presenters. Here's how I do it. First, with your PowerPoint in slideshow mode, open a web browser and go to internetclicker.com. Enter your personal code you set in PowerPoint to confirm that everything's connected. A couple clicks forward and back is all it takes to make sure you're alive. Then share that web address with your teammates. A great tip here is to copy and paste the web address with the code into Zoom or Teams through a back channel thread like your dry run Zoom meeting thread. I found that it is wise to let every presenter test out the functionality before the meeting to get comfortable. But once you've done that, there's really no looking back. Everyone is going to love it, I promise. Now, some of your colleagues may want to access their internet clicker from a mobile phone browser. Hey, that's cool. If that's their jam, then I would highly, highly encourage those presenters to click the top right settings icon in their mobile phone browser and select the keep screen awake button. This prevents their phone from going into standby mode and dropping their connection, which is a buzzkill. Okay, so there you have it, a game-changing way to plus up your next virtual presentation and for a precious few dollars a month. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. My commitment to you is to drop a new presentation-related hot tip to YouTube every Thursday. So if you like what you'd see, I'd be honored if you'd like, subscribe, and tick that notification icon to get the heads up when the next episode drops. In the meantime, thanks and make it a great day.